What the James Webb Telescope found that no one expected was city lights shimmering in the depths of space, a staggering 7 trillion miles from Earth. This breathtaking discovery has ignited a spark of curiosity and speculation about the possibility of life on other planets. The telescope's gaze was fixed on Proxima Centauri b, our closest stellar neighbor, revealing an astonishing phenomenon – eerily bright lights that resemble the glow of cities. What could be causing these lights on Proxima Centauri b? Could this be the evidence we've been searching for – proof of life beyond Earth? Join us on a thrilling journey as we delve into the James Webb Telescope's groundbreaking discovery and explore the mysteries of these enigmatic lights in space. Scientists and people in general have been waiting and studying for years to get a glimpse of life outside of our solar system. Any proof that this space fantasy is true has been received with open arms. Scientists got the biggest surprise of their lives not long ago when the James Webb Space Telescope saw solid proof that there are living things in space. The James Webb Space Telescope was looking into space and sending important data back to Earth when it saw strange city lights coming from the exoplanet Proxima Centauri b. The lights looked like they were lighting up a faraway city, which is what the name of the object meant. Scientists are shocked by the idea that there might be an alien city on the star. Each of them is confused because this life seems to be the one they've all been waiting for. If this turns out to be true, as everyone thinks it is, it means that intelligent life forms in space are already building societies that are very different from our own, and we're just starting to learn about them. NASA engineers can't help but wonder how long these city lights have been shining in space, waiting for people to develop the technology to see them. The lights are 7 trillion miles away from Earth. David Kipping, a scientist at Columbia University, says that the Proxima b exoplanet is hard to understand because it has city lights. He said that because the heating patterns in this star system are different from those on other worlds, it is known that most rocky planets take in sunlight and give off infrared energy. This asteroid, on the other hand, has a very different infrared spectrum than its star. Proxima Centauri. When the James Webb Space Telescope looks at this, it sees something interesting. The telescope was useful because it was the right tool for the job. Infrared bands are easy for the web to pick up. The unique heat signature of Proxima b will help us learn a lot about the atmosphere of other planets. Infrared image technology on the web, which is the newest technology, will make that possible. Scientists plan to use the telescope to find out more about the planet's atmosphere and its secrets. They also want to use the Webb Telescope to look into the possibility of living on this extrasolar world. With its infrared sensitivity, the James Webb Telescope is ready to find out what happens at night at Proxima Centauri b. It is hard for space cameras to pick up the faintest rays of light in the vastness of space, but the Webb can. It can see even the tiniest rays of light from space. It's the perfect tool to find out if the reports about city lights on the night side of Proxima b are true. All man-made lights in the universe can be picked up by the telescope as long as they are within a frequency range 1,000 times smaller than sunlight. The way Proxima b's stellar features combine with its surface is very interesting. A lot of solar cells are on the day side of the exoplanet. They collect the star's bubbling radiant energy along with reflecting light. Its spectra edge also lets light come in. When Proxima b finishes its circle around its host star, Proxima Centauri, it has day and night cycles like we do here on Earth, with the sun's heat making it hot during the day and cool at night. It is known that the planet's temperature changes because of what it is made of. In the case of Proxima b, if it doesn't have an atmosphere, the change between day and night will be very small. The day side will be as hot as a black body, and the night side will be unbearably cold. This is because atmospheric gases and seas keep the temperatures in check. An interesting way for scientists to learn more about Proxima's atmosphere is to look at how much the temperatures change. The web has the best infrared image capabilities, so it can quickly look at the planet's thermal emissions to learn useful things about its atmosphere. It's interesting that the James Webb Telescope's path around the Earth lines up with Proxima b's orbital cycle. 
This means that the telescope can observe both of its day and night periods in 11.2 Earth days. Since it does have an atmosphere, the next step is to look at the science of that atmosphere to see if it can support life. The abundance of gases like oxygen, water vapor, and methane can help you figure out if there is life. If these elements are found on the planet, it means that it has conditions that make it livable. Scientists have to be very careful as they record and study light rays that move through the planet's atmosphere in order to figure this out. This is a very difficult job to take on. The web is very good at figuring out what a planet's atmosphere is like, but its main goal is something else. The telescope has been set up to only look at changes in the amounts of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane in the air. There are some problems with the web when it comes to finding bound oxygen, which is a key sign of life. That being said, the telescope still has good reasons to look for other things on Earth like ozone, which tells us exactly how alive the atmosphere is. There are also some things that you should know about the James Webb Space Telescope. It can only look at a few of the closest livable worlds to Earth. As scientists do more research on the atmosphere, they are turning more toward ground-based observatories like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT. The ELT is a telescope that is set to begin working in 2028. It is carefully placed to look more deeply into the atmospheres of exoplanets that are very far away. It will gather information about these worlds that will give us a full and accurate picture of how habitable they are. Scientists at NASA and everyone else are looking forward to putting these kinds of space devices into use in the future. But until then, the James Webb Space Telescope is still an important part of our search for information about faraway worlds called exoplanets. Even though it has some problems right now, the Webb Telescope could give us important insights that will change the way we think about exploring other planets now and in the future. For future space telescopes, Scientists want to cut down on the bright light that comes from a planet's star so that observers can see the lights that come back from the planet better. They plan to do this by using internal masks or huge external satellites in the shape of an umbrella, which is like putting your hand over something to block out the sun's rays and see it better. Future telescopes will be able to better study faint reflections of light coming from a faraway world by lowering the star's brightness. This will make it easier to get a clear picture of the planet's atmosphere and determine how likely it is that it could support life. Going about this way does have some problems, though. Scientists will have to tell the difference between gases that come from living things and gases that come from natural processes like volcanoes. Astronomers aren't giving up on learning more about exoplanets so they can better find signs of life and tell the difference between real and false hits. The Webb Telescope shows some of the scientific progress that has been made in the study of exoplanets. It gives us a sneak peek at the amazing things we still haven't found. As we learn more about the universe and explore it more, we get a better sense of how it all works and what our jobs are in it. Scientists have looked through every planet in space, but they still haven't found one that has life on it. People have been looking for signs of life in space for decades, but the search for life on other planets goes on. Do we live in a universe by ourselves? People have always wondered if they are the only ones in the world, going back millions of years and through many civilizations. It's an old desire that hasn't gone away and that we still have today. The James Webb Telescope is still in space looking for signs of life on other planets, while also looking for alien civilizations that might be hiding among us. Recently, there has been a lot of talk about the idea that aliens are really out there in the stars, waiting for people to find them. In 1984, Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson, two American astronomers, started a study TI. Their goal was to find an answer to this question. They want to pick up only radio signals from space by sorting through all the other signals in space. Focusing on radio waves is important because they can go over long distances without getting lost or absorbed like other types of radiation do. The 42 radio telescopes that make up the stellar Allen Telescope Array in the Cascade Mountains of California are better able to pick up radio waves because of this trait. How far have we come in trying to talk to other people? Well, 
Scientists have found more than 5,000 planets outside of our solar system and keep track of more than 9,000 others. They have found hundreds of places that could be good for life and might even have life on them. Even though the search has been hard, the scientists have never lost hope that they would find evidence of life. They are excited about what will happen next because they think it will be something new.